Good day, everyone. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a teaching about alpha mares, what they are, and how that pertains to a herd of horses. So, I would like to introduce you to two of my top mares. Top as in alpha mares. This is my very most alpha mare of all. Her name is Mountain View Coffee Break. She's not only the top mare in attitude, she's also the top mare in size. She's 15, two hands high and definitely my tallest mare. Um, this mare right here is also one of my bigger mares. She's 15 hands high. 15 hands isn't huge, but for my herd, it makes her one of the biggest. I have a lot of small mares. This is Bella. Bella isn't the top dog, but she's certainly near the top. Both of these mares exude a confidence and strength that probably is the reason for their place in the herd. Okay, what does the term alpha mean, actually? So alpha, of course, is the Greek first letter of the alphabet. And in the spirit of first, it's basically the first mare. So the boss mare of the whole entire herd. So every herd has a pecking order. A pecking order simply means the order in which Every horse has its um, authority within the herd. So that term comes from, of course, nothing other than a group of chickens, who, if you know anything about of chickens, take great delight in pecking each other as well. So in every herd, there's a pecking order, and every herd has the alpha mare, which is basically the top dog. So this is Coffee. She's the top dog. Every alpha mare comes with its own distinct personality and can really set the tone for the entire herd. So I feel super blessed with coffee here. She's also, she's not only um, a gentle alpha mare, she's also very kind to everyone. It doesn't matter. She would probably be the, the meanest to the mares that are the meanest. Anyone, even the lowest and the low of the mares, she will scratch shoulders with. If she demands their grain, they will give it to her. But other than that, she's a very gentle and quiet alpha mare. So I find our, our herd is therefore a very quiet and restful herd. I really like this mare. She's, uh, she's just a, a, a blessing to have. The only sad thing is that I haven't had a full from her yet. That reason is due to the fact that she's had two dead foals yet. So the first foal we had from her was born in the sack and suffocated. I got there about 20 minutes too late. I was pretty devastated. The second foal I was so on top of, I wasn't gonna miss it, I wasn't gonna sleep, and I was there, but it was unfortunately born too soon, and uh, it was actually born dead. So it was a premature filly this last summer. So she is once again in foal to Silver Shadow, and I hope and pray that this third time will be the charm and that we'll welcome a silver or black filly this summer or colt. So that's, that's coffee. <laughs>